even terabytes of data you get from black hole, from various galaxies, from the stars in your telescope. Indian Institute of Astrophysics, which is in Bangalore, then Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, Tiruvananpuram. Many of the professors at NISER, where I am a student right now, from Earth and Planetary Science, they have collaboration with NASA. So you have your own independent lab. And you, if you are interested about black holes, you can work about black holes. Even about 100 years before, Albert Einstein had already predicted about the gravitational waves, the existence. And in about 2015 and 2016, scientists and astronomers finally अगर आपको भी बचपन से stars, galaxies, universe, black hole, you know various galaxies, how our solar system travels around the black hole, how Earth is revolving around the sun, then how these galaxies are rotating in themselves, you love about reading theories about uh, Albert Einstein's relativity or theory of everything of Stephen Hawking, or you love studying about you know black holes, galaxies and all that. If you love astronomy, astrophysics, if you love of movies like Interstellar or Star Trek, Star Wars and all, I am sure you will love this video about astronomy and astrophysics. If you are interested about this, then this video is for you. In this video, I will clear everything. What is the difference between astronomy and astrophysics? If you want to become an astronomer in India, what is the education you need? Then how you can network with people like you who are equally passionate about astronomy and astrophysics? Number three, I will tell you what are the career options and job aspects in astronomy. Okay, this video is for for astronomy for astrophysics i have already made a detailed video you can check in the i button or the link in the description let's proceed now let me tell you about the difference between astronomer and astrophysics so first if i talk about astronomers so what scientists come to your mind galileo aryabhat because they observe the behavior of celestial objects for example how Earth is revolving around sun, how moon is revolving around earth, how this motion is happening around the black hole, how, how our solar system is revolving around the black hole, right? All of these things. Then because of these rotations, revolution, we have solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, right? So and then we also observe uh, celestial objects like comets, the comets that pass. So all of these study of the behavior of these objects, the motion of the celestial objects, the all the observations that we do, right, in the Hubble telescope or with various kinds of telescope, the International Space Station, all the observations that we make about the galaxies, stars and universe that come under astronomers. So astronomers observe those events and then study them that why are these events happening, what can be the possible reasons and all. Astrophysicist, for example, Stephen Hawking, he was not an astronomer, he was an astrophysicist. Similarly, S. Chandrasekhar, who proposed Chandrasekhar limit, you know, about the formation of the stars and all. So astrophysics is the theoretical understanding behind, you know, how the universe works, various phenomena that we observe in this universe. For example, about the black hole, right? So Stephen Hawking proposed about the Hawking radiation, right? So all of these theoretical uh, understanding about the universe comes under the astrophysics. Now, astronomy and astrophysics are like brothers and sisters. They go hand in hand. So the behavior that astronomers get, the observation they get and the data that they process uh, to come out, all of this data many times verifies the theory which astrophysicists already had predicted. Or many times, you know, the theory predicted by the astrophysicist is com confirmed by the behavior that we observe in the galaxies or this universe. For example, Albert Einstein predicted gravitational waves about 100 years back and they were finally observed in 2015 and they were actually announced in 2016, right? So even about 100 years before, Albert Einstein had already predicted about the gravitational waves, the existence. And in about 2015 and 2016, scientists and astronomers finally observed them using, you know, very big telescope, Earth-sized telescopes. Yes, they exist. Now, I will not deviate too much about this topic because this is very interesting and fascinating topic. We can start discussing about various kind of theories and all. I will stick to the video and I will tell you about the education that you need if you want to become an astronomer. Okay, about astrophysicists, I have made different video. Please go and check that. About astronomer, what education do you need? Now, to become an astronomer, you need a very strong foundation in maths, physics and computer science. Why? Because 
you need a lot of theoretical study also to become an astronomer you also need you know very good uh, skills to be able to analyze all the data that you will get through your telescopes about various celestial objects right so you kind of will be like a data scientist in this role so uh, you can go for bachelor's and masters generally astronomy is very advanced course so after bachelor's you go for masters and then for phd now what are the various degrees you can do bachelor's in for example bachelor's in astronomy bachelor's in physics bsc physics similarly many universities offer combined bachelor's and masters in astronomy and physics like this so what are these universities and institutes let me tell you first comes indian institute of astrophysics which is in bangalore then indian institute of space science and technology tiruvananthapuram then indian institute of science education and research aizer tiruvananthapuram then center for excellence in space science india in aizer kolkata then there are many old iits offering these like iit rurki kanpur kharagpur bombay delhi etc then physical research laboratory prl ahmedabad and finally iuka inter university center for astronomy and astrophysics which is in pune so in these research institutes what you can do is you can do your bachelor's in maths physics or astronomy then masters in maths physics or astronomy and then go for phd because just like astrophysics astronomy is a very advanced level course you are going very specific in the domain so you can do physics when you do bsc physics you read about everything about physics right you know you read about gravitation you read about electrostatics you read about you know newton's classical uh, physics you know classical mechanics and all then uh, if you go for masters in astronomy and all in physics then you kind of do your masters project in particular field so you can do in earth and planetary science department of for example nizer you can do uh, your masters project uh, many of the professors at nizer where i am a student right now national institute of science education research from earth and planetary science they have collaboration with nasa so even the james webb space telescope you know right so even with that team of nasa we have professors at nizer who have collaboration and they discovered for example carbon dioxide and all in various exoplanets and all so those things are there you can also you know add nizer to your list but coming to the point for masters you can do project in various topics of astronomy and finally phd you can do in under a particular guide who is working about a particular area of astronomy now after your bachelor's and masters you can also go for phd in india or abroad from these institutes a lot of people generally go abroad because of better facilities and all better funding in these fields and the best one is iist i already told you right iist has direct link with isro so after your bachelor's and masters isro isro directly recruits from iist so you should apply and consider going to iisc if you want to become an astronomer that is the best option i think you have in india if you want to get it, directly get a job if you want to continue in academia further studies do phd and all then all the list of institutes i already told you are really good now coming to the jobs so there are two parts academia and the industry in academia people generally go for further studies they join as a faculties and research professors in various research institutes they have their own lab and they do their own independent research project which are funded by various government agencies or by various companies coming to the industry so in industry you have various government agencies observatories for example nasa isro drdo in these government agencies and organizations you can work and then second is private which is spacex for example so in these uh, various space agencies you can work coming to the first one which is planetary scientist so you have big observatories right so the role of a planetary scientist is to observe our celestial bodies and solar system and beyond actually all the galaxies stars planets surfaces of the planets atmosphere of these planets the behavior and composition of moons and asteroids in our solar system or in the galaxies then is there any potential for life in other planets moons or exoplanets so all of these things planetary scientists study so as a planetary scientist that is the first job uh, the salary is generally you know packages between 8 to 20 lakh per annum but it is actually high it is generally more than 8 lakhs from what i have got from various people 
it is generally 8 to 20 lakhs per annum depending on better and better research institute or better and better you know organization you are working the salary is higher with various government box as well the second one is observatory technician or scientific officer so you see so many big observatories which have very big telescopes so big telescopes even the telescopes which were in LIGO experiment or for observing the gravitational waves those are around the world so many observatories around the world together only were able to detect the gravitational waves so to maintain those telescopes those cameras those, those lenses those costly crores hundreds of crores of equipments you need very skilled people who have very good knowledge about these fields right and those are observatory technicians scientific officers those are not normal technician okay so they also get very good packages and salaries i don't have exact data that is why i will not tell in this video now third one is professor or as a teacher so you can join as a faculty in various universities in research institutes i already told you right indian institute of astrophysics or iuka or ic bangalore riser kolkata prl physical research laboratory similarly niger bhuvneshwar cbs mumbai so in all of these research institutes you can work as a Professor, you have your own lab, PhD students work under you, they do their research project, you guide those PhD students, you have your own independent lab and you, if you are interested about black holes, you can work about black holes. If you are interested about, let's say, uh, moon of Mars, then you can work on about the and study about the moon of Mars. So like this, you can have, you can become a professor or a teacher in various universities or institutes. And here again, depending on how reputed your research institute you are in and various government perks are there, generally salaries or the packages between 6 to 20 lakh per annum. Coming to next one, which is data scientist. So you get so much data, you know, thousands of GB or even terabytes of data you get from black hole, from various galaxies, from the stars in your telescope, like Hubble telescope, your uh, James Webb Space Telescopes, right? So in all of these observatories and telescopes, you get so much data. So you need data scientists to process them, understand the data, what exactly it means. How do you know that there is water in the surface of moon, right? You need to get some signal, some spectrum, uh, the spectrum that you generally have studied basics in your class 12, electromagnetic waves, right? So you need data scientists. So those are paid really well, not just in astronomy and astrophysics, but, but almost all the jobs around the world, the data scientists have very high salary, one of the highest salaries. Generally starting is 10 lakh to 20 lakh per annum, right? And it goes even more depending on which organization you're working on. And finally coming to defense, for example, DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization. So you need scientists who are working about aeronautics, ammunition, satellite systems, so that you can make the nation very strong, the defense system in the nation very strong and the salaries are also very high. For example, in DRDO, the salaries are about like 7 lakh per annum with various government perks and retirement plans and benefits, right? So you have these jobs in government as well as there are various private defense research organizations as well. So there are also very good jobs for the scientists and astronomers. Now, very importantly, I want to tell you that it is not going to be a very easy journey to become an astronomer. You need a lot of patience and a lot of skills. You need a lot of hard work to do bachelor's, master's, then PhD from the top research institutes around the world. Then you need to have a lot of research experience. You need to have expertise in the field. Basically, you get paid because you have those skills. You can process the data that you get from the telescope. Or, you know, you can maintain the instruments as a technician in the laboratories. Or you become a professor, you do your own research, you come out with new theories and all. So all of those things are there. So it is not going to be easy, but if it is your passion, it is definitely worth it. Now, if you want to know more about these kind of topics and videos, like this video right now and subscribe to this channel. If you want any other topic, I will make a video on this. Write in the comments below. And... Don't forget to subscribe this channel. It will really motivate me to make more of such useful content. If you want to prepare for research institutes like 7 ISERS, NISER, ISC Bangalore, 
CBS, IACS, ISICMI, we already have so many selections, EIR1, EIR12, EIR13, more than 400 of our students are now in these premier research institutes, going to become future scientists, right? So you can definitely check our courses in the links below or sayastra.com website. Download our app Sayastra for free study materials guidance. You can always message me personally in Sayastra app for any kind of doubt, discussion or queries. Okay, with that, all the best. Jai! Chunye Sayastra or kare apne IAT and NEST ka sapna sakar. Download the app now.